Welcome to the special edition of Neurology News Network. I'm Marco Meglio. Please excuse our appearance this week as a majority of the U.S. workforce, including the Neurology Live team, moves to working remote as we come together to help reduce the spread of the novel coronavirus. Novartis has announced that the FDA has granted marketed approval to ofatumumab for the treatment of relapsing forms of multiple sclerosis in adults, including clinically isolated syndrome, relapsing remitting disease, and active secondary progressive MS. The subcutaneous injection therapy is a precision-targeted B-cell agent administered once monthly at home via the sensor-ready auto-injector pen. Novartis noted that it anticipates the therapy to become available in the U.S. as early as September with additional regulatory submissions ongoing and expected approval in Europe by the first half of 2021. Stay tuned for our pipeline update for more information about the drug approval. Results from a case control study suggest that patients with anterior circulation large vessel occlusion presenting very late from their last well-known time may still benefit from endovascular treatment despite previous notions of the therapy only being effective during a window less than 16 to 24 hours from time last well-known. Of the included 150 patients who had an acute ischemic stroke with internal carotid artery or middle cerebral occlusion and arrived 16 hours or more from time last well known, 24 or 16% received EVT, a modified Rankin scale score of 0 to 2 at 3 months after score occurred in 55 patients or 37%. 13 of the 24 patients who received EVT and 42 of the 126 patients who received medical treatment. EVT was associated with better odds of a 90-day modified Rankin scale score of 0 to 2, as were the odds of having favorable 90-day MRS score shift. New safety data published in Headache suggests that Remegipant, a recently FDA-approved agent, for the acute treatment of migraine can be safely administered in tandem with the preventative monoclonal antibodies against calcitonin gene-related peptide, or CGRP. At least one on-treatment adverse event was reported by 38% after a four-week mean exposure of 7.8 doses. Of those, 15% of patients had mild or moderate nasopharyngitis, and no other adverse events occurred in more than two patients. Possible treatment-related adverse events of mild to moderate severity included viral gastroenteritis, first-degree atrioventricular block, and dizziness occurred in 23% of patients. Notably, no patients had serious adverse events, adverse events leading to discontinuation, or amino transferase levels greater than three times the upper limit of normal. Of the 12 patients with liver function test data, one patient had an AST level that was above normal. Study author Gary Berman wrote, Although not specifically studied, the mechanisms that might underlie the therapeutic benefit of oral remegipant acute treatment Combined with the injectable CGRP monoclonal antibody preventative therapy are of interest. For more direct access to expert insight, head to NeurologyLive.com. This has been Neurology News Network. Thanks for watching.